Hello teachers, it's Robert Avosa, school superintendent with a quick update and also a discussion about teacher evaluation. This evening the school board is getting a workshop so that staff can provide them some information about the way we evaluate our teachers. As you know, a few years ago the state of Florida mandated that teacher raises be tied to student performance. And that's really what's complicated this entire process. You add that with the fact that we started Marzano five or six years ago. Uh, and look, at the end of the day, there is no perfect evaluation system. I've now worked in three different states, a handful of school systems, and it's never perfect, but it can definitely get better. What I've heard from you is that there's some frustration. And I don't blame you, quite frankly, I feel the same frustration. And this is just one example. I met a teacher recently who had gotten a letter from the governor who said she was one of the best teachers and her school had moved from a C to a B, which is a positive, but the, yet they were still in the lower 300 in terms of elementary schools out of all the state of Florida. Her evaluation, although her scores went up, was only deemed effective. And so I can understand why she was frustrated. She got seven or eight different sort of folks talking about how she's doing in a school and when, it, when, when the dust settled, the reality was it was confusing, it was not transparent, it wasn't equitable. So we're going to continue to work together with you, but let's be really clear about something. We are micromanaged from Tallahassee. A lot of the things that we're forced to do with teacher evaluation is dictated by the Florida Department of Ed and our Tallahassee elected officials. So my commitment to you is, number one, we can get better. I agree with that, and I'm going to continue to work with the teachers on the GENT committee to improve, and we'll get that done. But in the meantime, I want to personally thank you for all the great work that you're doing. I'm going to continue to fight for you, for the policies that we need to make sure our kids get what they need, and that our compensation is fair, so that our best teachers continue to do a great job, and we help everybody grow and learn and reach their full potential. Thank you.